Reports of at least 50 people killed and as many as 100 injured after a series of car bombs exploded in Baghdad Tuesday. The attacks came on the 10-year anniversary of the U.S.-led campaign in Iraq that ousted Saddam Hussein, although Iraqis have not been known to mark the anniversary of the invasion. The BBC says a total of 10 car bombs were reported, all of which went off within an hour. The first set during morning rush hour on busy streets and later over the capital. Others were reported near police stations, a mosque, several Shiite neighborhoods and a school, adding several children among the dead. So far, no groups have claimed responsibility for the attacks, but The Guardian notes Iraq's al-Qaeda wing has vowed to take back lost ground from the U.S.-led coalition. The Islamic State of Iraq has carried out a long line of high-profile attacks, including the storming of the Justice Ministry building in central Baghdad just last week that killed 25 people. And while violence has declined in the country since hitting a peak in 2006 and 2007, the recent attacks demonstrate a remaining threat among Iraq's security forces, which have stepped up searches at checkpoints, created new checkpoints, blocked main roads, and set a curfew as part of efforts to prevent Sunni militants from destabilizing the country. WSAV reports the number of U.S. casualties is more than 4,000, while the number of Iraqi civilians killed is estimated at 134,000. And while this is after much progress, many challenges still lie ahead. Iraq achieved a lot. But we are increasingly concerned, of course, about the political crisis going on now. And this has to be solved by discussion. This has to be solved by sitting together and finding a solution. There is no way back to the past. So far, security and medical officials have reported 87 people killed in the past week. And the BBC reports an average of more than 300 are killed each month as a low-level Sunni insurgency continues. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.